I did a lot of international work and what I, what we at CrowdTangle, and I think one of the things we saw is that there were far less staff dedicated to understanding the local nuances and context of political environments in Southeast Asia. So whether it's places like Myanmar, Sri Lanka, or even other places like Nigeria, um, there are oftentimes to, to enforce even a platform's own policies, uh, you sometimes need to understand is a hashtag being used ironically or as a joke, or is it actually a call to violence? And sometimes you can only know that if you have people in the community who can help tell you that. Um, I mean, it's been documented that there are also uh, lots of places in which Meta didn't have um, classifiers in lots of languages where they should have. Um, and so I can go through the impact of that, but I think it is, and I think here in the US, we've seen that there were examples of policy violations that were more prevalent in Spanish language than there were in English language.